Why are you looking at me like that, man? We're friends! Come on, man! You can tell me what's in the box. You can trust me. Hey everybody, how we how we doing tonight? This is August Aguilar, the director of Strange Films, and this is my wonderful friends and cast and crew and family of Strange Films uh, for the film Pandora, and we are all here tonight to do a little commentary for you guys. So, uh, welcome everybody. How you all doing? Great, Good to see you, man. Yeah, let's see. We got Alex, Sherry, Rodney, and Les, and Blake, and Joshua. Uh, let's see. So Alex played the devil, of course, in Pandora. Rodney played the madman. Man Rod. <laughs> Rodimus Prime here from Mass Driver. <laughs> Shout out, Mass Driver. Uh, uh, he played the madman in Pandora trying to grab the box. Les, of course, played Elijah in, in Pandora, who has a big role in the film entirely. Uh, Blake here, my uh, my partner in crime, who helped me make the film, uh, writing, and he scored the film and helped me, was there you know, along the whole process. Uh, and, of course, Joshua, who was the DP of Pandora. So thanks, guys, for joining me tonight. We are going to watch Pandora, talk about it, and uh, give people who support Strange Films a little insight of what we do and our insights about the film itself. So I'm going to go ahead and share our screen here. And play Pandora. Can everybody see it? Yep. yep. Yeah. Right. Hey, there's my car. <laughs> hey, there's my car. <laughs> All right, guys. Said I could have it. Came, which came out <laughs> Uh, the beginning of 2020, what a year. <clears throat> what a year. Did we expect any of it? And shout out Blake Paul for getting this location right on the spot. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember that day. I remember we were trying to go to this parking lot initially, and then they wouldn't let us film there. So the last um, – the day of, we were just – I was just trying to find a location. I was like, we got to find something good. Wow, well, we're really fortunate we found this place. Yeah, we ended up getting lucky. We the, did. With all those like, nice practical lights up there and everything. It was great. And this scene is very ominous because it's like – what the hell is going on? And I like how the cop actually pulled up to us while we were Is that him? <laughs> what oh, you yeah. This is what you wanted, bro. Mm, that backlight. Josh. There he is. <laughs> Josh Holly, he could be here with us tonight, but uh, Josh, he, he, of course, he's an incredible actor here. And Isaac, first time he's acted before in general. So That's this him. was a really, really fun scene. They were both great. Isaac was definitely a surprise. I like, hadn't seen him do anything like creative before or anything, you know, acting, of course, wise. So it was exciting to see him actually get into it. Def J Cruisers are so awesome. Okay. <laughs> uh, coming into this scene right here, was this, uh, you know, what's your initial reaction to this kind of the opening of this film? What is that? <laughs> nothing. Oh, come on. What is it? It's nothing. He said I could have it for giving him the. That I could have it. That's the line. <laughs> That's the line <laughs> right yeah. in the movie. That's the line. <laughs> I told him to really hit me, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually hit me. A that couple was of I told him to just go for it. <laughs> What I love about that line is, like, he said I could have it. Who are you talking about? Bro? Wait! It really puts you in peril right here. You're just Wait! You're desperate for this. Wait! Yeah, I was trying Wait. to think like a person that got gut I can have it. full speed, so I, I was trying to hold it back. He said I could have it! And Blake, uh... I love what we did with the score here. I just absolutely love it. Uh, oh, man. I love making this one, man. This was a blast. I remember we were just like, I was like going to give you this like over the top, just little synth sound. And then like, I thought I was, you know, I was worried it was overbearing and you were just like, no, that is perfect, man. Uh, I'm really glad I, I wanted to build up right here. I wanted it to be completely silent until this moment right here. Yep. That's that's really one of my favorite yeah. shots of the movie. A Carpenter vibe, that uh, soundtrack. Carpenter was definitely an influence on that one. That was, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to wear some of that and, and for the soul of this soundtrack. And Joshua, just to let that, you know, of course I've told you many times before, but here, here's some photography, man. I mean, this shot right here with the uh, part of the 
know, on the mountain, man, like, when you call me that, you told me that, and a lot of the other shots that come like, I was just, I mean, it really, really makes the film. Well, thanks. Yeah, it was a lot of fun coming up with those shots on the fly, too. Yeah. Lucky with that uh, that car mounting rig that I that I made. I ended up working out for a few shots. Yeah, I love what you did in the beginning, of course, when we saw on the side angle. And then How do I right there. I mean, I, was, I would have never thought of that, so I liked on the Answer me, damn it. Like, if it won't open, that, then you're awesome. not supposed to have it. Yeah, it, it added a cool vibe to that opening shot, for sure. Was that? It means it's not meant for you, okay? I can't open it. That's why I get to keep it. You're lying. You're lying. Come on. I'll let you go. You're not going to open the box. He doesn't have to know. The box. He gets like more and more like angry oh. here. <laughs> oh. more Tell more me with the how to open the box. box. Yeah, of course, it's like a little tricky thing right here. You open. <laughs> here we go. Punk. Punk. And shout out to Virginia for uh, coming out Look and you, filming. Look at you, poor thing. Uh, for this, uh, Double quick is on you in your soul. I'm lucky I found you when I did. I can take you to a safe haven. But this was a very, very hard one. <laughs> what is this? It's very important to me. Can I have it, please? It's beautiful. Remember you guys kept shooting this part over and over again? I need the box. <laughs> I want the box. <laughs> you can't have the box. End of you discussion. Don't, you don't understand. Why I need that? the box. You said you box. could get me to a safe place. So give me the box. Now. I don't have time for this. <laughs> get out of here. And then okay. this is the shot that I wanted. Okay. The one shot. I remember when we were mapping this shot out, August. I remember yeah. going here. We were just, I remember we were just like, the long take. Uh, and Josh really helped in. And there he is. Hey, it's me. Hey. 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 I remember their their cars kept coming by. We got lucky with that one car. It, it really I mean, it, makes, it even adds to the scene really well, too. Um, but we, yeah, like you said, Rodney, cars and people and everything we just kept coming by over and over again. Uh, so My focus messed up. Oh, well. I wish I hit him harder there. That's a thing I regret about this part. <laughs> <laughs> This shot is like my favorite shot. Oh, dude. This is what I'm mine too. I love that we got lucky with the framing there. Yeah, awesome shot here. Good shot. Um, I, that's that really great shot. Out. Yeah, Rodney, I, uh, I think, we, you know, we're all just so, I think we're still just all new to this, like, process and this idea and, like, even the shot, the, uh, the action in it too, you know, without trying yeah. to hurt anybody. But it would have been nice to actually duke it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really lay into him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fence? I'm here. <laughs> but remember, the box got broken. It did. It's still. We had an agreement, had souvenir on my right? Shop, like so none I'm of this shit was ever I supposed to happen. I remember you guys getting the shit scared out of you by the fog machine every time I turn it on. <laughs> oh yeah, that fo the fog machine though. This effect, I mean, it definitely it makes it look seem very. I mean, weird. Yeah, it's yeah, just a like little gifty, bro. And, I mean, it's amazing. But uh, yeah, set off yeah, the smoke I, alarm. But, yeah, I was like, we're, they're about to kick Probably us all out that, with man. this. Uh, we're friends. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> man. You could tell Luckily, me. Luckily, it never went off. Trust me. Or did it go off once? It went off once, and we had to turn it off, didn't we? Yeah, none of my concerns. None of my concerns. Pull it down and like turn it off. About you, <laughs> at this point, is my concern. And Alex, you're so intense in this. I, oh, I, now I come really, on. really love this whole scene. That's not very. Nice. Yeah, this whole exchange. Well, John, is John, John, all right, it wasn't too much you know of a what? script for me to play the devil. I don't think <laughs> you're um, fully realizing the gravity of your situation. The dynamics but, is great. I'm flexible. We had a deal. <laughs> Make a new lighting. one. Hey, man. Lighting, yeah. So how about this? Really good. How, how about I let you beer fest thing hanging up there? And your <laughs> life. Yeah, that pack. Oh, and that hell, you can even come back uh, here. We can and, drink together. And, uh, my good neighbor, you know. Alex you got a good friend. Alex here. goes, Paps, yeah. What do you say? <laughs> yeah, that's a deep cut reference right Whole there. Whole reference. <laughs> <laughs> Pow. Pow. <laughs> this escalates so quick. He does. No. Jeez. I like how Josh is patient in this. You know, he's a very... He kind of knew, like, I feel like he knew, like, what I was trying to go for. Right. And I kind of... Yeah, yeah, oh. Everything you own was yeah, you look fucking to scary. So how about I just... <laughs> yeah, weren't you going to modify my voice and you're like, yeah, I'm I did it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Yeah, it's plenty creepy. This this pillar, 
I was terrified of breaking that thing. I was too. <laughs> I was very <laughs> cautious about this whole fight scene. Right it felt like it was on its last legs. Yeah. Master Kirby right. and Jacket in reality coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah. The behind the scenes. Yeah, behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that clip. It was oh. such an intimate scene, wasn't it? Oh, the meat strangling the jack. <laughs> <laughs> I was just laying right underneath Alex for that shot. <laughs> screaming in your face. <laughs> this is kind of comical. <laughs> well, that's when you know what actually is happening. Yeah. Now you're choking a jacket back there. <laughs> screaming my head off. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Josh. There he is. Just had to go and make me lose my temper, didn't you? And that fog right there, again, oh my God. We got so lucky with that fog machine. It worked out so well for these yeah. shots. I love the lighting in this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's really special here. Oh, and putting the, the smoke in the box, too. Fuck He's I could have it. <laughs> I love that. I love that little twist there. I love that the smoke actually stayed in the box for us for this shot. Yeah, this is pretty great. You know, you, you know, you gave me the purple light, but when I color graded, it turned blue. And I was like, yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah, it worked out just fine. It <laughs> with the, uh, Bless your face. With the red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yay. Like, was the last thing we shot, too. That was the last scene. That was the very last thing we could do because they were like, uh, guys, we got to get the door. Uh, all right, that was Pandora. Yeah, that was uh, that was a very very fun film, and of course we did that right before uh, the world ended. So um, <laughs> <laughs> it ended up uh, being very very special. Um, so initially, uh, I guess what was everyone's uh, kind of thought and reaction? I guess going into the film, you know, we it, 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 a little context, you know, of course for viewers. Um, is we had two weeks to write, shoot, and edit a film for the South Southern Oasis Film Festival. And uh, me and Blake uh, kind of got our heads together and was like, I was taking around town thinking of like, oh, we, maybe we could do this and maybe we could do that. And and I uh, was writing the script. And then uh, it ended, the, the original idea was what, like where they were going to face the devil, but he was like a really, really crazy looking guy and uh, like, we were going really abstract at first and i think we you were slowly wanting to kind of ground it a little bit more as we were progressing I, I, with it you know it's funny because i went for a walk with my dog and i was listening to some jazz that you recommended and i was listening <laughs> to jazz and i was thinking of center city um another film i've done and uh i was like what if the devil or what if the saint what if all these angel demonic characters end up just being like mafia guys just kind of like just grounded you know almost human people and running around the city and doing some, you know, weird stuff and make it like mythology, you know, some abstract stuff in the background. So that's kind of where it all shaped. But going into the script, you know, I got Alex, Rodney, and Les here uh, involved uh, halfway through that process. When I sent you the idea, what was your initial thoughts? Uh, start with you, Les. I thought it was great. Uh, it was nice to play a character that had a name and a actually had lines and everything and uh, that was my first gig for the year so I was really excited I think I had two others after that and then the world went to hell so <laughs> it started off strong right and uh, Rodney uh, you know of course we had Austin from Mass Driver uh, play in uh, our last Southern Oasis entry which is uh, subject so we had to bring you in we were trying to get Sean in there to complete the trio but uh, you yeah, know it didn't happen yeah um, but what was your experience like going into the, the project? I think it was uh, the role that I was born to play, um, the, the strong, silent type. Now, it was, it was fun. It was, uh, it was the first time I had done anything like that. Um, so it was, it was a really cool experience. Um, just the only thing close that I've ever done is like when we've shot music videos, mm -hmm. which is completely different. Um, but no, it was, it was a good time. It was physical, which was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was really, really hoping to, to have like a big – I was thinking of – to be honest, I was thinking of like Daredevil. <laughs> One take shots, right, just, right. Like, just brawling, you know, <laughs> like, uh, what, what, whatnot. But, you know, um, we only got you <laughs> as our yeah, – Yeah, yeah. I'd get a few extras. But, uh, 
but it still worked out, obviously. And uh, Alex, you know, were you mad that I cast you as a villain again? <laughs> well, uh, believe it or not, uh, those who don't know, initially I wasn't the first choice. Yeah, you were. <laughs> Bing, actually, Bing Fu was the first choice. Which Ooh, ended up wow. Getting him in the lion's den. And now when I met him, uh, he's like such a nice guy. I'm like, man, this was a blessing in disguise. I can't picture you being mean. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, initially I was uh, just going to help out. I think in the, the very initial uh, treatment. And then Bing Fu had a schedule conflict and I was like, yes. mm. I was like oh, the whole time I wanted to play the devil. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, it was just a lot of fun. I, I only really had to uh, work that that one day you know and we had with all the fog machines and, and i bartend so i just hung out behind the bar and <laughs> tried to do my best bartender mm-hmm. there and um i just acted off of josh and it was easy he made it easy yeah and uh, of course shout out backdoor tavern who let us yeah. just graciously open the doors at like 9 a.m and just was like take the whole day and do whatever we were there i mean right at the end we were rushing out because they're ready to open for business but i mean they gave us literally the whole place to just do whatever um for the whole day which was a lot of fun just let um, a bunch of beans in <laughs> um and josh uh you know you are the first person i ever worked with to actually um film for me you know as my dp you know um i always shoot my own projects so for me it was kind of um like a nervous thing for me you know not in a bad way against you but just like I was nervous because I'm used to what I like to do and what I my style is and this and that so whenever I was looking for crew and you reached out to me and we and we met for um coffee and talked about the script and everything you know we clicked instantly about the whole project but you know was uh how was your perspective I guess going into the the film and I guess working with uh working with us well, yeah, I was a little nervous, but also pretty excited because I had never worked with any of you before, so it was kind of brand new. And uh, yeah, it ended up, um, I was a little, uh, you know, I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out just because never met any of you guys, didn't know how it was going to work, but uh ended up being super smooth. You know, we, you and I had a really good back and forth, just, you know, figuring out shots and getting shit done. It was, it was a really fun experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I uh, I was so, I, you know, I was, when we started and then by the end of it, of course, I was like, that was the best decision I've ever could have, could have made <laughs> getting for this film. I was like, I mean, the shots that you you got and, and like we mentioned, like on the fly, some of that stuff that just kind of came up naturally and, and whatnot. I mean, just really elevated this film entirely. I really think it, it kind of put my own perspective as far as what I've done before and going into future projects. Um kind of just elevated what I wanted and what I think is even more possible. So, you know, thank you for all your uh, hard work and, and uh, just, you know, awesome, crazy technical detail, detail <laughs> everything. So. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me on board too. And mm-hmm. this is actually the very first time I've ever done a, uh, done anything where I wasn't the director, the audio guy, the cinematographer, every hat. So it was really fun to just get to focus on the, on the shots and just make sure that those are as good as they could be. Yeah. And it was the first time I got to just be director because I actually had an audio guy and I actually had assistants and I had you and I lighting everything taken care of. And I was just focusing on directing, which was just, I think made this film a lot better. Um, and of course, you know, uh, we won the uh, best director, best editing and best use of elements in the competition, which was even more I could, than I could ask for, which was pretty awesome. But um, so overall Pandora was a, was a huge success in my book uh, and I'm glad that we got to connect with each other. And even you and Josh, uh, Josh and Blake, you guys got to just uh, yeah, man. connect again and work on uh, your newest film cadence. Yeah, we sure did. Yeah. We had a blast making that one too, man. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, definitely. That, like, yesterday, so. Yeah. And congratulations again on that release. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. And yeah, Josh is like a MacGyver dude of, <laughs> yeah really it was it was pretty uh it was pretty wild seeing all the, the toys and tools we had to just <laughs> it was kind of boy well, like oh I, could, I think i got something for that you just went <laughs> you know? yeah, when you're strapping that thing on with all the weights oh my that god was, yeah. that was that was pretty wild oh yeah my <laughs> backpack rig with the ronin i love yeah. that thing Dude, you just <laughs> your own stuff. yeah man on both sets i was just like wow man you're you just you had you had all your material you had all your tools you just you knew how to use them so efficiently it was it was remarkable <laughs> Yeah, and like that Ronin was like one of the biggest things, you know, I wanted that one take uh, on the scene, you know, where we just followed Josh and he was being encountered by these, uh, by these people and everything. Um, 
So the real question, guys, is if time and the world allows it and everything is uh, going smoothly, uh, would you want to return for a Pandora Chapter 2? Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. I mean, I think I could even get you in there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could get the whole Mass Driver gang, though. You know, we could. Well, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, sponsor <laughs> scene, maybe. We'll, we'll <laughs> make this. Concert. We'll be a lot more physical this time. I That's was expecting them to be on the soundtrack. Yeah. What did, you, what did you say, Les? I was expecting them to be on the soundtrack. I thought that would be. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up with that? Right. <laughs> you know, we got you on the subject, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, you know, I had some interesting, fun ideas um, to to start, you know, like pretty much a trilogy of like this, just kind of this world opening, and Alex and and Les and Josh and everybody would, everybody from the film would actually be involved in it in some capacity and whatnot. Um, just kind of, you know, opening up like an alternative, alternate reality of some sorts. This box, who knows what kind of happens every time it's opened, you know, with these characters. I thought it was a great set, man. I mean, you know, if anything, it was just one of those where I think everything came together great. And if anything, you know, it'll just be it, it just like we can, you know, find even further ways to take him for this time around. Mm-hmm. I thought the soundtrack, you know, I had a girl, I had a lot of fun doing that soundtrack. And I just kind of, you know, me and August just uh, got in the workshop room for a day and we just, um, you know, you just grinding on the editing and I just kind of got the soundtrack you were describing. That was and, a lot of fun. Uh, it, it was just, it was a lot of fun to do. Yeah, well, that was a really good, that was a really fun day. Yeah, and and uh, I really liked seeing you work. Just kind of, you like you said, like you were naturally just kind of syncing everything together um, with this, the soundtrack, and I was kind of clipping away on the edit and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we, yeah, we locked ourselves up for like a day and a half. <laughs> yeah, we were up like all day. I mean, I remember that day, that day we were just like, oh my god, he like caught up to us all at once. It's uh-huh. like I think whenever you get in those like the mode, it's like you, you just kind of get this overdrive that kicks in. You can just you just kind of go all day, you know. Then when it's done, it's like wow, <laughs> took it out of me, but it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, it was a very very fun experience. It was my longest shoot because it was a three day weekend. It was was it we did Thursday Friday? Did we do Saturday? No, maybe it was a Friday Saturday Sunday. I don't know. I think it was, yeah. I think it was Friday, Saturday. I don't know Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, it was a thing. It was from the noon. Friday, Sunday, actually. Or Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday night when I was out. And Saturday was what I worked, I think. Yeah. So, okay. Mm-hmm. Three day, like a day ago. Week, um, a good cast and crew, of course. Um, definitely a lot more of uh, ambitious things to go mm-hmm. along into the film and whatnot and overall like i said i uh i really had a great time filming it and you know working with you guys Les, it was the first time we got to work together and of course josh me you know first time meeting you and and uh working with you and whatnot so um it was a great time and i hope we get to explore the world of pandora a little further even you know hopefully near, <laughs> down the road agreed agreed oh yeah absolutely it was one of my favorite characters i've gotten to play also i really enjoyed well, that line yeah. is iconic too. So, <laughs> have it. well, it's definitely also it's an original story, and you could take it places. You know, they're they're a uh, character like a devil, and then they're characters that have um, auras of mystery around each of them. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you could almost make like a short film about each one of them. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've yeah, thought it's good. It's a good, you know, world building in general. Yeah. Well, that's the next one could. Films. What's that the next right? one could open with me in the uh, hospital with my busted throat. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the box? Yeah, <laughs> Ooh, the box. You could beat up the, the hospital attendant. Just beat Very the nice. <laughs> You're in a psych ward, just yelling over and over again. I gotta get the box. Bad thing. <laughs> Infinite possibilities, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. We're, we're, here's your. Uh, right now, we're making it. <laughs> Let me put. Let me get the the notepad out. <laughs> and uh, and also, I wanted to share with you guys um, coming sometime in the near future is uh, our next third comic book of the uh, the Strange Films comic book line is uh, actually going to be Pandora based around. Nice, awesome. Um, it is going to be um, now. It is going to be a little different than uh, our other. Uh, comics because our other comics are strictly adapted from the film this pandora comic book is actually going to be um a little bit more of a its own original tale but the premise of 
but the idea of Pandora <laughs> is uh, is there. So, you know, and I'm trying to actually tie it in somehow to the film, but whatnot. Um, just, but it, you know, it's cool that I'm, you know, br- we're, we can bring this idea of what we made into a comic book form. You so know? it'll be like a different story. Right. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of a different story, but you know, using some of the same elements that, um, that we incorporate in the film, you know, the hard thing about the comic book is, you know, um, when you're adapting it from the film is trying to adapt it. Uh, you know, our film, our film was very, very much more grounded, I think, than some of my others, uh, as far as like, kind of like, you know, I'm using a lot of like monsters or, or crazy things going on in, in some of these other stories. Um, but ours was just kind of like, you know, we, we take out the names, it's just people kind of running around. So um, I was trying to make the comic book a little bit more kind of uh, mystic and, and whatnot, having like a, a lot more different, you know, um, auroras kind of going on and just kind of making it very, very much more um, world exploring versus uh, just kind of keep it ground level. So, but yeah, using the same elements of uh, Pandora film will make Pandora comic. So, and shout out Tim Spivero. He's working hard on that right now. <laughs> right on guys. Thank you so much for joining me on the Pandora uh, commentary. Uh, and watching the film with me, of course, and talking a little bit about it. I really do appreciate it. I'm really happy I got to, you know, meet you guys and work with you guys, of course. And uh, hopefully, you know, like I said, uh, when things get better and we're all more available to do things that uh, we can get back at it and maybe make some more Pandora action going on, you know, explore this world a little bit more. Because I told Blake from the beginning when we were writing it, I was like, I have ideas that takes these characters beyond or, you know, have, creates a backstory for these characters. So, uh, you know, I'd love to be able to explore that. Strange Films is all about kind of creating worlds and just kind of adding to them and, and whatnot. So so we'll see. But thank you. And this uh, this is another Strange Films commentary. Um, thank you, Alex, Rodney, Les, Blake, and Josh for of uh, Pandora. Thanks for joining me. Stay strange. All right, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you.